Hello everyone, welcome to a Binding of Isaac daily run. It is, what day is it, Saturday? Something like that. Well, it probably, you could probably figure that out because I almost always put this up the day after I make it. So if you're watching this on a Sunday, or, well, if you're watching this as soon as it came out, like uh, a good set of loyal viewers that you are, and it's a Sunday, then this is probably a Saturday right now. It's a Samson run, and the Samson run goes to Mom's heart. Now, if you recall, a Samson run is somewhat characterised by the intention of getting an arcade on the second floor, if possible, get an IV bag from the arcade, and then using the IV, careful, using the IV bag to use Samson's innate skill or ability or you know, power, whatever you want to call it. It's a bit of a shitty superpower, but a superpower nonetheless, which is that he gets stronger as he gets hit on. He starts with bloody lust, basically. Uh, you get stronger the more you get hit on a floor, and that does include um, IV bag damage, which doesn't count as red heart damage, and therefore also allows you to take deals with the devil. But then, of course, if you're going to be taking a lot of deals with the devil, you'll be spending all your red HP, so you're going to be wanting to look for more HP. Upgrades. Uh, Ghost Baby is... Lil Horn is kind of shit. A lust fight is also kind of shit, and if Lil Horn turns lust away, Due to fear, we're going to have a harder time killing it. That's okay, it's done. We'll take the pill for no reason. It was full health. Well, this wasn't a great floor, but we'll see what the boss gives us. Very quick floor as well. Depending on what the boss is. If it turns out to be Ragman, then I'll be eating my words somewhat. We'll put this here. Hoping it would be getting that uh, tinted rock for us there. But what we can do is we put one here as well. Which will guarantee us two bombs. And we'll put one over here. Guarantee us the tinted rock, which could be small rock. We'll put one here, which will guarantee us a third spirit heart, which I probably shouldn't have taken right now. Taking red heart damage on this floor doesn't actually matter. We really want as many red hearts as we can for the next floor. But what's done is done. Uh, I'm sorry, we want as many spirit hearts as we can for the next floor. Now, don't worry about this creep. It's actually only slippery, which is kind of gross if you think about it. But then again, this is the Binding of Isaac. If you weren't prepared for kind of gross, you shouldn't really be watching. I suppose... Um, if any game ever made will convince people that kind of gross is something to get used to, it's the Binding of Isaac. Didn't look for secret rooms or anything like that. We only had the bombs that we had um, to allow us to, to play, to do that, uh, getting the HP stuff earlier on. But we're going to do this, hopefully to get IV back. But you can see we're getting pinker and pinker as a result of this anyway. So we're already at much better damage just because of this arcade and the arcade arrived because we had five cents when we went to the f when we came down to the floor it's only a chance to get an arcade but the chance paid off and there was no chance if we didn't so whatever and we got plenty of cash as a result so I think it was totally worthwhile more than enough HP to, oh, to tank that sort of shitty damage which we shouldn't be taking not at this stage of your Isaac career we will save this key well, I guess we save the key until maybe we get another scent, but one shot in your spiders is great. Oh, there's one over there. Did you see it? I didn't see it. For five minutes. We seem to be slower than I'm anticipating as I'm just walking into everything because that's how you deal with the game. No, 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 no. Stop doing it. It's bad. Terrible. We'll buy this because I don't know what's good for me. I'm incapable of playing the game, so you don't know why I'm recording it. <laughs> Look at me play the Binding of Isaac. I'm amazing. Probably actually it's here. It's going to be anywhere. Yes, we did find a secret room so far on this game, so that's not too bad. Hum. So I've done pretty badly on this floor, but I still have not taken red heart damage. Well, I've taken red heart damage, but it doesn't count as red heart damage in terms of deals with the devil. What's in the box? I think this just randomly drops trinkets, does it? It just causes more consumables to drop? I'm not actually sure. I mean, we don't have anything, and it is a passive item, so even when I was looking at going space bar item, I don't want that. Ooh. Well, telepills could have been bad. So we're only going as far as Mom's heart, so at some point during this run, we're going to be looking for maybe an Awaz rune, which might make it worthwhile going into the, um, the curse room over there. This is great, and this is great. Wouldn't mind some uh, HP upgrade. We will take both of these, even though it... Really puts a dent in our plans, which is to continue to be able to play Blood Banks. So I'm going to go to the Cursed Room, even though the Secret Room is not next to it, which it could have been, looking at the map layout now. 
Uh, so it's a bit of a shame the secret room wasn't there. This will cost us one of our black hearts, but we've done really well. Despite being incapable of dodging spiders, big or small. I think we've done pretty well here. The lovers I will use straight away. Ooh, I've forgotten that would happen. Probably not going to come back in here and try and take advantage of those two. You could get more money out of it, sure. You could min-max it. You could probably suggest even that the HP that you take, that you lose... Oh, okay, fine. Um, doing that would make up for the... Would be made up for by the fact that you spent that HP on the blood bank in the first place, but it didn't matter in the end because as soon as we played the blood bank, we got the blood bag. The blood bag has given us one more red HP, which pays for one of the two, deals with the devil that we took, which is great. And from the boss, we did get um, Pentagram, which is a decent damage upgrade, just like base, without having to do any blood bag shenanigans or hurting ourselves shenanigans. But honestly, the blood bag is okay. Um, it's not what we want from an arcade when we are Samson. I'm probably not going to do that. Should we take this? Does this get us this? No, I think it only attracts pennies. Um, if we happen to find a random blood bank, then I'm probably going to use... I'm going to play it until we run out of HP. Then I'm going to finish the floor and see how much HP we get. And then maybe use the strength card to deal with it. But it may be better off to use the strength card to choose to deal with the devil if we get one. Um, although, that being said, the only way you can cheese to deal with the devil with the strength card is if you have zero red HP. You use the strength card, it gives you one red HP, but it doesn't charge you. Because uh, when you leave the room after using a strength card, it would normally take your HP back, but it doesn't charge you. Uh, I think we should probably hold off on using the two of spades. I feel like there's a good chance that we will be getting plenty of consumables of all types, but um, specifically... For this discussion, uh, keys. Pheromone. Okay. So, actually having, you know, an extra couple of uh, keys right now, probably not too valuable. The world card, also don't really need it. As long as we take a charge of our new item, which is the crystal ball, down to the next floor so that we can use it straight away. We just never need a world card. So... Don't even think you get points for using it, so I'm not gonna. Oh, why did you walk into its path? That was just foolish as fook. Never mind. Often I take silly damage against these things. It just is what it is. You have to get used to it. Uh, keep watching. Stop cringing. I can hear you with your uh, noises. I know what that means. That means what the hell is he doing? Ooh, death touch. Death. Touch. Not even thinking of re-rolling that. That was really dumb. Don't just walk into a room and see what's going on. Hi, everybody. Crash. If you did that at a party, you'd be escorted out straight away. So don't do it. Room to room. I think that's really all we care to do on this floor. We can really get a heads up on boss, boss rush. Um, a head start, I suppose I should say. But you know what I mean. You understand the sentiment, even if I failed at my wording of it. Uh, we can get to boss rush a little bit quicker if we know where we're going on an XL floor, which we do. Um, I suppose we fight the boss now. Our rate of fire is actually pretty abysmal. You know, we've got um, Death's Touch, which is a great piercing shot already. But our rate of fire is really, really low. So our actual DPS, while okay, is high. It's not, I don't want to like suggest that our DPS is miserable in any sense. But the rate of fire means that we have to make sure that every shot we make hits. Of course, we've got Succubus now. <laughs> Talk about that a little bit. Um, but by and large, the onus is on us to make sure we don't miss because our rate of fire is low enough that every miss is a huge dent in the DPS we've done on that particular fight we will take with this, which I think is a spirit heart. It's not a spirit heart. Okie dokie. Uh, a Krampus fight is kind of bad on a tiny room, especially when you <laughs> can't really does to save your life on the normal size room. This is a thing. There we go. Right. Might as well use this here, see if we get a spirit heart. We did. We'll take this. Ready for the next floor, but I will go to the sh What was that card? Did we want to keep that card? It was a strength card. I'm going to say we will keep... Actually, I'll tell you what I do want to do. We will keep the two of spades for now. If we get a bunch of spades, by which I mean keys, between now and the next two rooms that we're going to do, which will be this room and the one after it. 
then I will use the two of spades for the bunch of keys and then use the strength card in future. Full health? Yeah, it's pretty good. But for now, I don't think I'm gonna ooh, don't think I'm gonna really bother about the uh, strength card because it's you know it's a long term strategy that I'm not entirely pleased with. It seems like something that you do if you don't have anything better to do and basically everything is better except nothing. Oh, question marks as well. So we keep hold of the two of spades. We've got a full health pill there, which could be good to keep. Um <laughs> really nearly stupid. Uh it could be good to keep the full health pill. Can you give me that back? Thank you. For the blood bank plays in future. But I was thinking we're gonna keep the two of spades because this is a points match, not a you know not an HP match. And eventually the two of spades will be worth fifty keys. Whereas full health is only ever going to be worth a few HP. And we can imagine that HP will drop room to room anyway. So we're well ahead of the boss rush thing now, simply because that was um an XL floor, but we could see where we were going. In fact, we can now see where we're going on every floor, as long as I remember about the fact that you need to be able to um, use the item that we have, the crystal ball, when you arrive on the floor. Otherwise, it's... Fuck it, use that. Uh, well, that's kind of useless. Do we know these? Addictive? Not valuable. One of these is actually question marks, and I don't remember what colour it was. Which is probably something you should know... I want to go as fast as possible. Missing boss rush would be a bit poor, I suppose. Often we miss boss rush because we think we've got plenty of time and then we don't. So to to think at this stage, now I've got plenty of time, I'm not going to think about boss rush and then to you know, fail to think about boss rush would be foolhardy at best. Question marks here. This could lose us our two of spades, but entirely upset by that. It didn't, it was a power pill, but I was thinking it could be a telepills and then we couldn't get back into the deal with the devil maybe, so I worked out okay. Greed already. Well, that's kind of okay, I think greed already means we're not going to get greed in the shop, or at least certainly not on the next two shops. We save a key to get lemon mishap, which is a bad version of lemon party, where usually the, the Q item, the pill or card, or trinket, that mimics a spacebar item is usually worse, but in fact, in this case, Lemon Mishap is terrible and Lemon Party is great. Uh, but we don't have Lemon Party, that was Lemon Mishap. We'll take this. I'm wondering whether that's actually more worthwhile, but I think maybe... You know what, we've got enough time and we've seen where we're going, we've got full HP. It means we've got plenty of time to explore the next floor, which we're going to need to do because we won't know where we're actually going. Um, We've got plenty of time indeed to try and get some exploration bonus back on this floor because we skipped a lot on the previous floor to ensure that we have plenty of time. I can see forever is pretty good because now we don't have to guess about the super secret room. Um, but in general, taking the jar of flies here, we've already got 19 flies and you get one for killing an enemy basically is how that works. Um, I think that seems a little bit better than the spirit heart and mapping game which honestly is not going to be too important for a while. It's not it's not showing up a cursed room but the super secret room could be in this direction and if we don't do our diligence looking for a super secret room we miss a very good opportunity to collect uh, Awa's rune which this time if I do find one I'm not going to immediately use and go trollalol we can get out the cursed room for free I'm going to go aha that gets us an extra floor. So there is no secret room here this is where I was expecting it to be We'll keep going. Charles Heart could be good. Uh, retro vision. I thought we already had a retro vision. Is that two? I don't think you could get the same pill twice. Apparently you can. T I L. No secret room here. I don't know where I would expect it to be, except for over there next to the boss. But we'll do everything anyway. We have so much time available to us. All the coins are helping too. There's no real reason not to use these flies as often as you care to. Um, you get one for killing an enemy, provided you kill your enemy with your tears. You get a fly in your jar. So just use the jar whenever you <laughs> remember you've got it, I guess. It's nice to have a, a good surplus of flies for a boss as well. You could just step into the boss room and lo and behold, Bob's your uncle, boss is dead. But it wasn't to happen here because all the flies squashed themselves against the 
immobile face of that shielded, guarded enemy. Armoured enemy. What am I expecting from this? <laughs> Spirit heart? Not really. Just put some money into it. I don't want to really stand here forever, but I'm thinking maybe it'll pay out with a rune, and that rune will be the AWAS rune. It'll be amazing. And we'll go, haha, we're the best. Aren't we clever? For putting in the time and effort. Maybe we should check to see if we're going to get a luck upgrade from this boss. And if we are, we should play that after we've got a luck upgrade, because then we've got more luck and we're more likely to actually get stuff. I'm not sure if it can pay out with runes. I think it can. I know it can pay out with cards. Pretty sure I've seen it pay out with runes in the past, but I've been mistaken about so much before. Uh, that is quite a common occurrence. Deal with the devil? Guess it doesn't matter whether we take it now. I've seen it! Outrageous. Well, guess we'll move on. Two of Spades is now paying dividends because, of course, we have five keys. The humbling bundle that we bought from the first shop, or the first shop that we went into and bought stuff from, um, has actually turned out to be great. Batteries do nothing for us with this spacebar item, which is one of the downsides of it, but I suppose it balances. Not to sound like I'm complaining about the spacebar item that we got, it's actually really, really good, I think, especially compared to the one that we discarded in favour of it, or in unfavour of it, you know what I mean. Which, you know, it could tell us where we're going on this floor. It could give us an extra spirit heart for safety, I suppose. But what are we going to do with those? Strength. Mm. Give me spent, we could take deep pockets and then we can pick up that. Sweet. We had got plenty of money when we arrived here as well. So if we find an arcade, we can come back to that boss trap room and pick up a few extra points for actually completing it without taking any damage at all because that's how good I am at this game. Amazing. I'm swell. I'm splendid. Uh... It's difficult. Maybe I should use two of spades and come back and play that key beggar? What can they pay out with? Quite a lot of chests, and we do have Mom's key. So that could sort of... That economy could pay for itself quite quickly. You know, Mom's key will cause every chest that the key beggar drops, except for uh, red chests, to have an amazing amount of loot in them. I don't really want Epic Fetus. Dr. Fetus. You know, it's free infinite bombs, sure, but... It ruins our tears. We won't get any of the good synergies from it. Although we're not doing hush. Epic Fetus is the one where you shoot bombs instead of tears. But then I don't think we get piercing bombs. Surprisingly, we have yet to take damage. Ooh, he says, and nearly walks on the spike. Only his cat-like reflexes prevent him from taking foolish and shameful damage. So embarrassing. Well, they're not embarrassing because my cat-like reflexes, blah, blah, blah. We've got a strength card that we can use to cheese a deal with the devil if we care to. I mean, if, if it comes up. But mostly I think I want to use that to play the arcade, but we haven't found an arcade. So, you know, maybe a moot, moot point. Not a moot point. I can't remember what Stephen Fry on QI told us moot really meant, but it's not that. So I know that that's not what I mean, but it is what I said, so... But everyone knows what you mean when you say moot like that, so I guess now moot does mean that, because that's how meanings work. What are we on? Depths 2. So, tempted to take Pinky Eye, actually. Having the um, poison shot there is pretty, pretty good. I think it's worth taking um, this damage, to be honest with you. Luck. As long as we don't get a telepills. Mostly I wanted all those keys. Get off! <laughs> you nearly noob that up like you always do. Take them, take that. I'll go back in here and use the two of spades and play the key beggar, and I think this could get us a lot of points. We just have to be aware that we have to try and beat Boss Rush with what is turning out to be a pretty subpar run. Uh, what's that shit? <laughs> Don't give me this shit. Oh, that's the question marks. Question marks? So don't take that pill, um, if you can possibly help it. Wowska. So that's paid for the keys that we bought with HP when we walked over the spikes to pick up the keys. No arcade on this floor, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, spiders is also a bit of a shame. There's some more keys. That's what we like to see. And there's one that doesn't cost keys. There we go. It's starting to steamroll. Eventually this joker will disappear and he'll give me, I don't know, stuff. Maybe it just pays out with a final key uh, chest. Maybe it pays out with an item. Hopefully it pays out with an item because we're actually rolling. Rolling on... Uh, 
Uh, leave. Didn't explode the key beggar, which is what I was hoping for. Oh, curse of the maze. I tried to go out and come back in again just to tidy up a little bit, but it didn't happen. Keep going. Give me stuff. If you're going to give me red chests, at least have ones with guppy items in, you know? It's not that much to ask, is it? Guppy? Nope, just bombs. Please don't explode yourself, though, if you can help it. Because, of course, <laughs> the less he pays out with chests that actually give us keys, the less happy I'm feeling about the whole situation. This one's got keys in it. I can feel it. It's just a pill. I can see forever. Might get us the uh, path that we need down to the shoal. Ooh, there's a guppy item. I'll take this and... Sure. It can be good. I'm starting to get to the point where I just want to leave. And we have run out of keys, so we should bail. This is the mom fight, after all. We need to get to boss rush, and I've done that thing again. La la la, we've got plenty of time. Oh shit, where did all that time go? Mm -hmm. So, I'm thinking maybe mom won't actually last that long. Nothing in there that I care to do. Let me in. Good. Because uh, of all these flies. Yeah, so that was actually fine. <laughs> we know what's in there, there's no point going for it. Several amazing bombs or Aquarius, which just speeds you up slightly. It is a speed upgrade, but it's not otherwise very good. We will start to do more damage as we take damage in this fight. Honestly, I don't think the bombs are worth it. I'll take Aquarius because if we get some sort of invincibility, Aquarius can actually turn out to be really good. And the speed upgrade itself is, in and of itself, kind of more of a benefit than five bombs are. We haven't really had a speed upgrade, or at all, I don't think. Um in the entire game. I'm not sure if any of the items we picked up with sort of these benefits plus a tiny speed upgrade, but... Man, this is pissing me off. Let's use strength. Fuck it. It gives us a damage upgrade. doesn't give us a rate of fire upgrade, but I guess we need less of a one now. We've got Succubus bouncing around, in whose influence we can try and remain. Thereby, hopefully ensuring that we have the maximum... Ooh, the maximum DPS output as we can, but... As possible. But actually tr keeping track of Succubus probably more trouble than it's worth. So if you, if you can get the benefit from Succubus, do. But I guess don't stress about it. I mean, this there's no rush. We don't need to get out of here quickly, except for when you start running out of things to say. Oh, that was amazing. That was 19 flies. We got um, a payout from the little box, I think. It's a faded photograph. I might take it. But faded Polaroid. It does... It fades us out of existence, so it's anything that would normally chase us down stops doing so. I think it's random. So you can't rely on it. It's not like it's every end seconds. But slightly better than Child's Heart because we're not using the HP that does drop from that. We'd have to find an arcade to use that HP. And now that we're going down to a floor where all damage is a full heart, the arcade's going to cost more, but the HP is not going to make up for it anyway. So... We're not going to be able to play the Blood Bank on the next couple of floors quite as much as we could the first time we did. And all the XP is in this room anyway. Oh, there's not 20 flies again. I don't know where these came from. Oh, how did I do that? What happened? I ducked under pin somehow. We're doing great damage now when we're inside Succubus and the flies are kicking ass. I suppose anything that spawns enemies. I wonder whether each section of Larry Jr. in the Hollow in those ones have given us... An extra fly. That'd be really good. That'd be OP. That'd be broken. Not to say that anything that's broken is bad and that this game is not notorious for having broken items. There we are. We've faded out of existence on enemies that... Oh, apparently we haven't. Carrion Queen was actually capable of chasing us down. Don't know if that's just a peculiarity of Carrion Queen, though. Normally they sort of dazed around. Maybe it only works on, you know, minion-type enemies. Oh, I've got the tick. Which is fine because we're fighting a boss. Uh, pardon me? Ah, oh, creep. Didn't see that. Uh, the tick gives us like 30% damage against bosses, which is really good. But you can't replace it without taking the matchstick. But, I don't know. Do we care? I think we're doing such good damage sort of against normal enemies. You know, minion type enemies. Being able to beat the shit out of bosses is probably our, our best advantage right now. We turned Brownie into the dingle thingy and killed it. And we got hit several times by death, which is upsetting, but at least we got the damage to make up for it. Where are your horsey at? There you are. 
more uh, flies. Do remember about the flies. It's really easy to forget. Because you, you just don't consider that you've just killed 20 enemies. But Brownie there basically gave us for free shitload of flies. Where's... What am I fighting here? Is it the stain? No, nope, it's the equivalent of the stain. It's polycephalus. That's okay. I mean, it's basically impossible to not get hit by that enemy if you've lost track of where it is underground. It will pop up on you. So unless you have an idea of where it is, you're boned. Sorry. Which uh, kind of grinds my gears a little bit. It's one of my least favorite bosses for exactly that reason. Most bosses, if you play correctly, you can beat. And I think that's um, it's often a decent thing in video games, is that if you play correctly, you will win. Uh, I don't want that. And then it's a sort of a matter of learning and practicing and all that sort of thing. You know, practice makes perfect, all that bollocks. We still haven't found our ticket down yet. Excuse me, I think I just pressed F. I did. Apologies for that, if anyone's wondering what happened. What's happening? I think we're back. I accidentally pressed F, which is the full screen button, which is next to the move right button, which is D. <laughs> so, occasionally, if you miscalibrate your fingers, which is normal, right? Then you will accidentally unfull screen the game and then everything goes to shit and then you do it on live video, which is not live, but it's still a video. Um, and everyone laughs at you because you are unprofessional in incapable. Not only can you not play the game, you also can't even control your video software. That's fine. So, yeah, these rooms, once you get a fix on them, you can do them, right? It's simple. You make sure you're in the right place. It's all about positioning and accuracy and should probably think about super secret rooms at this point. And then, you know, in this case, it's about moving around and not staying in the same place long enough to get owned by lasers in this room. It's a matter of putting a bomb next to the tinted rock, and that's about it. Secret room? Ooh, small rock. Still worth exploding tinted rocks, even if you think it's not. Because you might get small rock. Of course, if you've already got small rock, then it's probably not worth exploding the tinted rocks. But, you know. Thank you to Succubus for... Ensuring I didn't have to figure out how to deal with that room. That's one of those rooms where once I figured it out, I can do it. But by and large, I haven't figured it out yet. Small rock not really making as much of an impact as I would have anticipated. I don't know, we kind of one shot that. Maybe it was softened up by succubus, but I don't want to belittle succubus or oh, our damage. Succubus is doing great damage though. It's just flying around and things are dying and I'm going, oh, there's an enemy that was oh, okay. Is this a secret room, maybe? Pardon me, no. Please, no. But the polycephalus. Man, if you lose track of it, no amount of skill. You have to have ninja reflexes. Not just cat like lightning reflexes that keep you off of spikes that you're about to walk on, but ninja fucking reflexes. There's no way you can react to polycephalus popping up. Because I didn't even know it was polycephalus, I kind of guessed, right? Could have been the stain, but they're equivalent in, in this regard. I guess we could just use the stars card to go somewhere. Ouch. That's a bit more damage for us, but it's a bit of a shock to the system. I was going to say culture shock, but that's completely not what I wanted to say. Um, it's a shock to the system when you go down to the next floor and you haven't taken any damage yet. And then all of a sudden you're actually doing shit damage because you turned out to be relying on the damage that you got from Bloody Lust on the previous floor. Why did we explode? Right, one of those. No worries. Didn't get many flies from that, but this should give us a shitload. Look at that dodge! Did you see that? That was so ballsy. But I made it work. And threaded the needle between two pieces of fistula. It's not something you tend to say, unless you're either playing the Binding of Isaac or you're a surgeon. A cancer surgeon, specifically. I believe it's the type of cancer. Can't pick up either of these anyways. Oh. I mean, we can now. But I'm not going to. I'm going to keep the tick. So, the only time I've really ever been able to remove the tick when I picked it up by accident, I didn't want to. So that's, uh... Karma? I don't know. Irony? Sounds like situational irony at best. I don't know. So many types of irony. Just pick one. Just collect them all. It's like Pokemon. Succubus just walking over these enemies so I don't have to hit them from an angle. So somewhere around here is probably a super secret room. I would like to get the pill that would tell us, but I guess we just use a bunch of bombs and hope for the best. Uh, where's it likely to be? Don't know. 
we're not in a rush. We can get to the mom's heart fight whenever we want to. So we could spend the time to look for that super secret room. And if we do find it, and it does contain an AWAS rune, I'm going to feel extremely pleased with myself. Very smug. Uh, insufferably so. So, I think it's worth trying at least. But if it's not near the boss, it's sort of anyone's guess as to where it is. No fucking deal with the devil right here. I bet it's at the end of that little tail on the right. See that? Sometimes it's obvious because there's a room that always has a secret room. And it doesn't all of a sudden. Let's go in here. It's actually near the beginning. I think that's where we spawned. Maybe we've already tried it. Oh, it's not. Okay, then. Fine. Jeez. Maybe here? No. It's not going to be there. It never has two entrances, so it can't be next to two rooms. Which doesn't leave us with too many options, because the room before the L-shaped room at the bottom is... Doesn't have uh, the right edges to it. Like, you can't get out. This is already a secret room in that direction. Over here? It's not in that direction. We're running out of options, to be fair, which is pretty good. It's not there. <laughs> We've already looked there. Is there one? I'm sure there is one, right? This isn't it. No. Could be over here. It's not there. This is outrageous. Come on now. That'll get it, right? It did get it, because it is there. Oh, that's bullshit. I don't even... <laughs> so much hope went into that, and it was just dashed against the rocks. Like, so much angry sea surf smash. Should we spend money on this? No, I think not. Yeah. Well, we found it, but it didn't contain an AWAS rune, which is, I think, the only way we can... Well, something just went bing. I assume that got recorded. I have no idea what it is. But everything seems to still be going, so I'm just going to ignore it. Screw you, <laughs> Windows. I'm not listening to your problems today. Got our flies doing all our work. I'm picking up all these pennies because I think you get a little bit of points for them anyway, but we've got 99 cents. <laughs> what difference does it make? Hopefully, the only other option, if we can't find the AWAS room, is that when we get the deal with the devil on this floor, which of course we're going to get because we're amazing and deserve it, it has a, a, a shovel in it. So that's all we can do here. But we did get some damage for it. A damage upgrade, I mean. Which is actually now making us stupendously good. Basically, any time a room goes from taking a couple of hits to taking one hit, even if it was only, you know, a half a damage point that took you over the edge, it's very good. Also, took this half HP, because if we spend a full HP in here now, we'll get permanent Polaroid invincibility, because we took the Polaroid. Because you always hit Polaroid, because just do it, don't question. Even though it locked off the uh, boss trap room temporarily, we can now go back in. Hoping to find uh, I can see forever pill so I don't have to guess about where the um, super secret room is. We can just walk around. These are champions. These are explodey, which means we keep away, but Succubus has already sorted it all out for us. This is fast chubbubba. We're okay with that too. Yeah, no problem. We can also go back to our... Yeah, I'll do it. See if I don't. We picked up Mom's key, so basically everything we do is a great idea. Range a range upgrade could help. It's not ideal. Hoping for an I can see forever pills just so that we don't have to spend all that time looking for the super secret room because we can find it just you know with some vigilance. Could be a secret room here which could let us through. There is. I'll put a bomb here just to expedite the process of going between these two rooms here because this one has all this gubbins in it, which is great. Bit min maxi, and of course, if we were trying to get to Hush, I wouldn't be doing this. I really want to get the IV back if we can manage it. Oops. Oh, I've spent an HP by accident. I went a little bit close to the nail on how long our invincibility lasted and got it wrong. Spent an HP, but at least we got more invincibility, so that's cool. And then we can do it again. Hoping to get... Because IV bag will allow us to pick up as much HP as we want, basically. And also, just we'll always have a blood bank nearby. Ugh, pay out, though. It's kind of all hinging on the fact that you're supposed to pay the fuck out. We've got maximum damage now. Uh, no question about that. But for the next floor, if we can get there... When did we get Dark Bum? Dark Bum spawned because of the... Uh, 
Blood Bank. I'd completely forgotten that that counted as that sort of damage. I'm so glad that I picked up Cambian Conception. Because at the time, I hadn't thought of it. I wasn't thinking in those terms. Stop doing stuff. Is Succubus giving us flies? I think Succubus is giving us flies. Succubus. That's uh, like a buzzkill, but slightly more lewd. Well, still not found a ticket through to the next floor. Which honestly, all my um, blood bank play so far has been predicated on the fact that we're going to need extra damage on the next floor. But if we don't get to it, we obviously don't. Oh, you again. How many times? That's twice in one fucking run. And it might as well happen every single time, so I'm going to say it does. I can see forever. Yes, that's what we like to see. This is exactly where the secret room is, and it has... <laughs> Nobody got time for that. Well, our choice here is get a lucky deal with the devil with a shovel in it, or pick up the trophy. Can't think of a way of getting an AWAS rune except entirely by accident. Ooh. Don't take damage against this phase of the fight. How many times have you done it? Like a billion? No deal with the devil. You know what? Give me that. Okay. I'm just going to end it. Um, we could look around and hope to pick up a drop. 258 suggests to me that nobody found a way through. Uh, and that's a pretty good score. We took a lot less of a damage penalty than I normally would. Even though, <laughs> as Samson, obviously you're actually intentionally taking damage. But that doesn't count towards a damage penalty. So forget I mentioned it. Well, thank you for watching. I enjoyed that run. I hope you did too. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out our other series. James has got a new series on Enter the Gungeon. Which is equally as arcadey, but has slightly less outrageous synergies but still pretty cool so check that out and until i see you next time i will see you next time